Hey, what's up, y'all? Classic Kev back with another episode. Y'all, honestly, it's probably the most important episode yet because I got my boy, Hotep Jesus, who's been featured on Joe Rogan, Fox News, InfoWars. Hotep Jesus, how you doing today? What's up, man? You had me at chess. Hotep, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah, Hotep so guys, so we're going to... We're going to talk some crypto. We're going to talk, um, you know, a little politics, but we're also going to play some chess because I hear uh, Hotep's pretty nasty at chess. Hotep, you're not on any performance enhancing drugs or anything, right? I see you got that mind stuff. <laughs> I, I am. I am on performance enhancing drugs. Allegedly, I don't call them drugs, but I got my herbal supplement, Master Focus. And um, I didn't take it today. You got to take it with a meal. I haven't eaten a day. But uh, yeah, I'm dope up on that stuff. Uh, real heavy, real heavy. I I stick to my um daily dosage, mm -hmm. mostly well, because um I do have trouble focusing. Uh, I used to be a heavy marijuana uh smoker, so my memory, my short term memory, wasn't as quick, I wasn't as sharp, and uh, this is sort of helping repair the brain. Um, you know, support uh the growth of dendrites. Uh, overall neuro neurological health and um, detoxify the enteric nervous system, which is uh, hmm. what they call the second brain or I call the other brain. So, yeah, I'm definitely on something. <laughs> well, if, if you beat me, I, I, I'm buying a bottle. I'm buying a bottle. So, um, OK, let's, <laughs> let, let's get straight into it, guys. Just kind of bear with me. I'm going to share my screen and uh, we're going to play some chess. All right, let's do it. There we go. Is that yeah okay you're yeah, in the game whoa what what do you play what is this king's indian i don't even know what opening that is bro you gotta play a little unorthodox bro sheesh <laughs> i'm scared now i don't, I don't even know <laughs> i don't know this opening don't um be scared <laughs> wait what is what is this Bro, look at your ELO. How are you <laughs> 1,500 ELO? What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay attention to the ELO. It means absolutely nothing. Um, I can't get past 1,500, actually. I've never broken 1,500 on chess.com. Come on. I don't know why. What, what is what is Grandmaster? Like 4,000? <laughs> nah, I think GM, you got to be 2,300 feet a. I'm not sure. Wow. Yo, what is this opening you're playing? Dude, dude, just trust the process, bro. <laughs> I don't want to. This is weird. <laughs> I play very unorthodox. There so, dude, go. so I'm I'm just a little confused, Hotap. Um SBF bailed out. 250 million i mean his parents that teachers at stanford man where where did they get the money man yeah, these people been loaded man wasn't his mom like um what was she uh an attorney uh she's an attorney her dad's an attorney uh they both got close ties to the government anytime you're dealing with communism people with uh close ties to the government usually um have a lot of privilege have a lot of Mm. Um, wealth. I'll even venture to say, but like, I guess what, like, my friend group, we kind of talk about, like, some of them think that this is all part of the plan, that it, it was all collapse in the way it was supposed to collapse, because that's gonna bring in the central bank digital currencies. But I don't think that's what happened. I I think they got sloppy, and it, it it's just a pie in the face, you know. Hmm. Um, you know, it's hard to speculate, you know, and, and I, I'm not, I don't really like to speculate too much. Mm -hmm. Um, especially on this particular matter. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's sort of, uh, it's a bit dangerous to try and speculate, you know, mostly because you have a large platform, you know, there's legal issues, et cetera, et cetera, especially, you know, you could be wrong and then you run into those and that was a bad move. Um, yeah. So that move right there, I, I like, I forced you to play, um, F6 mm -hmm. and, uh, Ben Feingold says never play F6. Um, <laughs> but, but, but it could be a good move. Like. I could be completely wrong, but I wanted you to play F6 and you played F6. So let's see how this turns out. Um, 
but it, it 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 definitely i like the speculation where they say hey you know this is some sort of op to um you know to induce the cbdc mm-hmm. it, it does it sounds plausible it sounds plausible because you know that's what that's what we're getting right now right we're getting a lot of people uh, in Congress, as we saw with the hearings last week, what they say, they were like, um, uh, what they say, they said, uh, well, SBF couldn't appear, right? So because he couldn't appear for the trial, uh, cryptocurrency went on trial. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought that was pretty ominous of, the, of, of, of uh, you know, what they were trying to do. Um, let's play this uh alpha zero um so yeah it's pretty ominous of a, a whole um cbdc uh situation uh because you know why else would they put cryptocurrency on trial you know well i guess what a lot of people think is that you know through this through ftx the regulation is going to come mm-hmm and when the reg like essentially through the SEC as the as the watchdogs, they're gonna regulate everything either offshore or just completely out. Well, what I believe is that the regulation isn't about getting rid of it. Um, if you go look at the story coming out of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria um, issued a CBDC last year sometime. And then this year they tried to um, what they do they they try to force people uh, to adopt the uh, CBDC by restricting how much money they can take out of their ATM, right? I saw that. That's ridiculous. What was it like forty dollars or something they could take? Yeah, forty dollars a day or something stupid <laughs> like that, right? Yeah. Um, are you trying to get tricky on me? <laughs> You trying to get tricky on me, bro? I got, oh, I got to play, I got to play on Orthodox, bro. I know, I know, you got something up your sleeve for me. You on oh that mastermind? <laughs> oh my god, I don't even, I don't like this. Um, wow, that's a, it's an interesting move. It's an interesting move. I don't even know what to do here. I have no clue what to do. So let's do this. Let's just do that. We're going to have to clog up the middle because you're playing weird. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to clog up the middle here and and try to fix the middle of the board because you're attacking my king. My king's all exposed. He's all Mm. naked and afraid. (laughs) (laughs) That's not good. You're about to checkmate me, man. You sure you, you sure that's your real rating? Bro, I am not good, bro. I just this is this is scary. You're baiting me, bro. I, I, I smell the bait coming. I mean, I think I'm winning. Oh, you're definitely winning. I think I'm winning, but I don't know. It's kind of scary. It's 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 kind of scary. Whoa. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a hell of a move. How are you finding these moves? <laughs> I think I want to play bro. Oh, I know what I can play. Let me see. Bank 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 bank. This is tough. This is tough. All right, so first move, let's play here first. Mm. Let's play there first. So yeah, so the so the Nigerian government pulled that, right? The whole thing with that. And then the latest story was um, let me try and get this right. Um the central bank. The Nigerian Central Bank decided that they they were going to amend their constitution or 
something like that. They're they're no, the Securities Exchange um, mm -hmm. bill or whatever. They're going to amend that to regulate crypto, right? So when they say regulate, you know, now we're talking about, um, you know, what are the restrictions, et cetera, et cetera. And what he's basically saying, the thing that I remember most about the article is what he's saying was, number one, he didn't want to give up the type of business that comes along with it, mm -hmm. um, that comes along with crypto. Let's go check first. Um, he didn't want to give up the type of business that comes along with crypto. And he's, he was basically talking about like the market cap, right? Like the market cap is just, you know, how do you turn down that type of capital is basically what he was saying. Um, and uh, I saw, I saw when I look at the United States, I'm like, is the United States really going to ban crypto? I don't think they want to ban it because who's going to give up that type of capital nobody nobody's going to give up that type of capital dog it's just it just doesn't Back make down. sense right so it really what i believe is because they're not going to give up that business like how big is the crypto industry right now like trillion dollar industry it's a trillion dollar industry just getting started right so it's like you know are they really going to do that are they really going to give up that type of business i think not I think well, not. why, I guess, uh, no, no. So, so, I, I so think... why, so, so the answer to why, I'm sorry. So the yeah, answer yeah, to why, what I'm thinking is, um, they want to pro, they want to control it. So the mm -hmm. regulation is all about controlling it, right? Mm -hmm. So if they can control it, then they're in the wind. And that, and I think that's really what all this stuff boils down to, is being able to control it. The government wanting control. I don't know, man. Sounds pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds far fetched. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, man. I think they want us to be free and not <laughs> and have financial freedom. And yeah, now what is this, yo? How are you bro, finding these bro, moves, bro? I'm like that bro just play a little a little wacky style sometime you know what i'm saying this sucks <laughs> this really sucks bro i um i don't know man i was why uh my mom was cooking dinner uh the other night and she wanted to watch i don't know one of them little shows uh entertainment tonight or something and it was canceled for the mm. uh the Zelensky you know, the, the, what they called him, they called him like the Supreme leader or something. And they brought him in and gave him a, a standing applause. Even my mom was like, what is going on? Mm. I was like, mom, turn this off. Let's eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I really don't like what's happening here. I really, really don't like what's happening here. Um, I made a mistake somewhere. I made a mistake somewhere. I'm not falling for it, bro. Anybody that says that, it's baiting. <laughs> I made a mistake somewhere, and I have to find how to fix it now. Now it's time to be resourceful. Mm -hmm. uh, if I go there, you go there. Okay, so that was not a good move. Oh, wait. I know. Wait, no, that doesn't work either. Shit. I've got myself into a hell of a conundrum there. Take, 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 take. Shit. Bro, you know, when I, I saw you on, um, on uh it was one of the episodes you were on info wars and you know alex kind of gave you your own like you know little segment bro that was really cool man oh yeah i'm gonna be going back on there again really what what was yeah. it like going there going in his studio and stuff it was wild um oh i found a move uh i mean i've done alex jones before yeah so um oh you're talking about in the studio yeah yeah Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Um, what was that like? You know, you know what's sad, bro? You know what's really sad about me? 
um, you have these dreams and these goals and like Alex Jones is one of my all time faves. Right. And, um, you know, if, if it happened to me when I was unprepared, I'd probably be like, Oh my God, I can't believe this just happened. Right. Yeah. But you reach a certain point in your career where you're so prepared that you become jaded to the experiences, right? So I've become sort of jaded to, um. so the only things that now make me nervous, like I still kind of get nervous for InfoWars. I kind of don't though. I mean, I get nervous before anything I do, but it's just level of nerves. I think the highest amount of level of nerves I get is probably Rogan and gut failed, right? Because it's like, dude, you really killed hard. on air, bro. We can't say it, but that climate change joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. That yeah. was like, that was, that really was funny, bro. That was like, but yeah, so, so Found are you, move. <laughs> are, are you like, like with your success, like in your career, are you kind of like manifesting this or is it just kind of playing out? Like you just waking up every day and just making content. It's just happening. Or are you kind of in your head saying like, I'm going to go on Fox news. I'm going to go on Joe Rogan. I'm going to. Rogan. I didn't manifest, you know, I, um, I didn't manifest Infowars uh fox fox i was like i should just come with the territory like i got the maga hat on you see the maga hat right <laughs> yeah <laughs> like fox i just thought should have come with the territory so i don't know if i can say i manifested that but yeah you know i just believe in putting one foot in front of the other right and and just um being consistent so I just try to be consistent bro you know that that's that's my main thing just be consistent um, and, and, uh, let the chips fall where they may, you know, um, I want a castle here. I just want to get my king safe, but I don't even know if that's the right move. We got the queen all in the middle of the board looking sexy. She looks really sexy in the middle of the board right there where you got your queen. I like the way you got set up. I can't castle that way. Should I castle? I mean, I'm up, I'm up a piece, right? Um, Ooh, what about this move? Does this move work? Don't do nothing crazy. <laughs> I think this move works. Let's Don't see. do nothing crazy. I know. I know. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous. I'm like risking here. Um, but yeah, you know, like you you kind of just gotta. I think what what I manifest is because I have a series coming about, out about manifesting and how to manifest and my philosophy on manifesting. And for me, it's about, you know, how many people can you help? Right. I'm going to just play the move anyway. How many people can you help? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I think that's what a lot, all, all this stuff boils down to. So I try to think about what I'll do with my success, how I can help people with my success and then things just seem to just fall into place for me, right? Because I'm I'm thinking about life from a very uh, unselfish place, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, that's that's sort of how I how I live my life. Um, and 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 then, like I said, let the chips fall where they may, you know. Um, I'm a. Yeah. Uh... I'm taking, speaking of Trump, uh, I'm taking some heat right now for, uh, you know, I cover a lot of NFTs and that Trump NFT just, you know, we covered it. Do? it. Dude, it, 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 it did good. It's tanking right now. Okay. But it, um, it like eight or nine X within the first couple of days. I mean, dude, it's a trash NFT, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think what it opened the door for you know, is all these politicians are going to, you know, be dropping NFTs, you know, so in one breath, they want to ban all this stuff. And another breath, they want to, you know, launch crypto NFTs. It's kind of silly. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, when I looked at the Trump NFT, I thought something funny. My take on the Trump NFT was the same week that we had the Sam Bankman free situation happening. 
Um, we also had uh, Trump drop his NFT. So while the Democrats were trying to kill cryptocurrency, it looked like Trump was breathing life into it. That's oh yeah, that I that saw. was a we if that was a coincidence, that was a weird coincidence that all of that happened. You know what I'm saying? If it was a coincidence, right? But you know, I like to you know, I'm a, you see, I got the MAGA hat on, so I'm always gonna find some spin to make Trump look good. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say Trump was trying to breathe life into cryptocurrency while the Democrats are trying to kill it. Yeah, but you know, Trump in, in the past has come out with a lot of uh, negative rhetoric to uh, you know crypto and begin again. I understand that you know he's what eighty years old. He probably mm -hmm. doesn't understand it. You know, I, he might not even understand that you know his NFT is built on crypto. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'd like to hear his thoughts now. You know, I'd be very curious to hear. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. You know, um. He, 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 all right. What the fuck are you doing right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> he, um, here, here's what I'll say. He, many of the boomer conservatives are like anti-Bitcoin, anti-cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So his base is like, oh, I want my gold, you know? They, they, oh, they, want, they want the dollar. They want the dollar to be strong. Is that what they want? Well, that's that's what he Trump has said, you know, like, I, I don't believe in any of this. I want the dollar to be the world reserve currency to be the strongest currency. But it's like, well, that's a wish at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, they're destroying it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I can see why you would want a strong dollar. It, it totally makes sense. Um, I. um. I don't know. I, 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 uh, it's, it's just weird. It seems like a conflict of interest because mm -hmm. on one hand, they're saying, Hey, we want a strong dollar. But on the other hand, it's like, Oh, but the federal reserve is this real big, bad thing. And it's just like, well, which one is it? Right. Like is the federal reserve bad or what? Right. Like, you kind of got to pick one. You can't Federal just... Federal Reserve bad. <laughs> right. Like, like if that's the story we're going with, let's stick to it. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, you're getting, you're getting froggy. You're getting froggy. Getting froggy, got to jump. Bink, bink. Let's go bink. 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 Ye you know, Hotep, I used to have a boss and he used to say like, you know, like if he used to love chess, he had a board in the office and he said, if we, if you could beat him mm -hmm. that, you know, some days you'd get to go home early. Some days he'd buy you lunch and no one could beat him, dude. To this day, I can't figure out how this dude was like, and he looked, you know who he looks like? He looks like Magnus Carlson. Like if I showed you a picture of this dude and I showed you, he, you know what he might, my boss may have been Magnus Carlson. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 to this day and like i still he lives in another state now but i still talk to him this day and i'm like dude like it, it drives me crazy that i you know i couldn't even beat you once and get a free lunch <laughs> <laughs> yeah chess is a hard game oh dude it's it's like next to impossible okay it's like and that's what i love about it the fact that it's like really a, a difficult game because yeah. I get bored easily. You know, I like, like my parents used to always say, you know, you master something and you move on to the next thing. And it's just like, well, I can't help that I mastered the thing in like, mm -hmm. you know, a day or a week or a month or a year. Right. I just get bored. But chess is the type of thing where you just don't master it like that. You know, you just, it's going to take levels to the shit, man. It's a lot of levels, multi level. Uh, situation going on here with chess uh and then the thing is you know you have you have a window of to, of greatness and if you don't capture that by like the age of 10 then you're pretty much not going to be a super gm right mm -hmm. um you'll be lucky if you're a gm uh national master is going to take a lot of time and study international master going to take even more time and study um what is that let's see um check a sita. Oh, I think I have I um 
I'm just, I just like love the game and, you know, I guess I've accepted, I'm never going to be a, a grandmaster or anything, but mm -hmm. it, it is, it, it ha it has been a game, like you said, about like master and stuff. And what are you doing? Can't I just do got that. I just had to get rid of that piece real fast. It was it was annoying me. <laughs> uh, all right. I didn't think you were gonna do that. I thought you were gonna I don't know. What? Check the king? I yeah. thought about checking the king. That's what I thought you were gonna do. Yeah, but then just I thought trading would probably be a better move. Mm-hmm. I had to get rid of that that bishop. That bishop was just sitting there, and it was just sitting there, and it was just sitting there, and it was just controlling. Just, lingering, just a lingerer, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, but it was just controlling way too many squares, and yeah, it was really annoying. I'm about to go in with these pawns right here, bro. These pawns are about to get. I, I, I see them. They're scaring <laughs> the shit out of me. They they are they are very scary. <laughs> so what what else you into, bro? Yeah, any other hobbies? Um, oh, that was a mistake. Who well, on me or you? On you. Ooh, that no. was brutal. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, bro. Um, I, I read Sun Tzu, Art of War. What is it? Appear weak when you're strong. Appear strong. <laughs> it ain't working on this one. Uh, How? <laughs> no. Dude, I, I, I should have used the king to kill. That's what I should have yeah. did. Right, I, I get one go back. I get one rewind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's go take backs in chess. Damn. <laughs> Only when you play the computer. <laughs> Damn, bro. That was that was tragic. That yeah, that's why you did me like that, man. I, I, I didn't think you were gonna do that. And you were playing so good, I had to take advantage. Dude, that was silly. That was that was silly. It's it's it it was I, I don't know. You just now the world is going to see me make the biggest blunder in the history of chess against Hotep Jesus. Yeah, that was a hell of a blunder, bro. But I i mean, if we check the computer, I'm sure I blundered at least four times in this game. At least. You played so weird. Like, I suck against players that don't have a high rating because you guys play so weird. I don't know what to play. Well, it's kind of like, you know, it's, that reminds me, like, in, you, you play any, like, Texas Hold'em? I used to. I used to. When Texas Hold'em became, like, really big, mm -hmm. I was a Texas Hold'em guy. Um, I I played a little bit on the computer. Um, let's bring some more friends to the party. <laughs> um, but then, um, I don't know, I kind of just, uh, I guess, lost interest. Mm-hmm. But it's a real fun game. I think poker is interesting. A lot of the chess players are actually moving into the whole poker thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a real big thing. I don't I don't have the patience for it, man. Like it's a fun game. I just, you know, I'll play a tournament if it's, you know, for like a charity or something. But yeah. But as far as like going to the casino and playing for I nah, man. Mm, be careful here. It's mate and one if you make the wrong move. <laughs> Well, technically, it's mate and one either way. I'm sorry. All right. Whatever I was going to do, I'm just going to do the opposite of that. Okay. That way. <laughs> well, it's not actually, no, it's not mate and one. It's mm, the right move. <clears throat> yeah, the right move is not mate and one. It's maybe, it's several moves and then mate. Okay. That was I wasn't right going to do that. That's the I right move. It. That's yes. the right move. Okay, so now I got now I got chess. Just do the opposite of what I was gonna do. Um, Yikes! It it, it 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 was the right move, and you know, Capablanca talks about that. Uh, uh, Jose Capablanca he says in chess, uh, when it comes to which rook to move, he says calculate which rook you want to move, and then move the opposite one. <laughs> 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 I think it's a joke, but yeah. no. It, it um what's your experience with um when you're playing on here with like people cheating like is, is that is that something that's rampant or uh you might get a little bit of that i do, really don't do you kind of know like if you playing somebody and like they're clearly i have this nasty mate i'm about to pull out watch this don't do it um check it's it's a rook it's a rook sacrifice yeah oh uh, that's the only move and then we go here check Checkasita. 
<laughs> I play with Spanish guys, so all my vernacular is like, you know, fucking Spanish, Cuban shit. I think this is mating two or three or something like that. I don't know. I just wanted to sack my rook. Um, then the next wait, is this mating one? No, it's not. This is all right. So we go here first, check. And then mate and one after this. Only oh, one this is. I mean, this is just. Yeah, only this, got one move here, and that's G two. This really got away from me, y'all. And this is mate. <laughs> Great game, bro. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I gotta look at the game review. One, oh, it says I made one mistake. Well, I made wait. I made three mistakes, four blunders. <laughs> oh, okay. So you made four blunders, not me. Okay. Yeah, you want to run that back? Let's do it. I'll play black this time. Okay. How do you uh hit rematch, right? Uh did you hit rematch? Here, I'll hit rematch. Okay, I got it. Go to the other screen. The first screen. Go to the other screen. Well, it opens up a new screen when you hit the uh analyze. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're good now. <sighs> All right. That was scary. Bro, that I was like feeling like I, I knew you were gonna beat me, but then there was a little window where I was like, maybe, maybe play play the play the move, play the move quick, quick, quick before you it, oh, there we go. All right. You said uh, maybe no, you definitely had an opportunity. Like if I blundered, that game could have been evened out really fast. I had to find um uh night ninety two. After you took after you took that pawn on um you took the pawn on D four on D four. Yeah, D four, and you had the discovery attack with the rook on my king, and I had to bring the knight back. Yeah. Now yeah, what you is powered this? up. You 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 that wasn't your final form. You powered up on me. I had to, you forced me. <laughs> um in fact, my chess app, my chess app says uh I use this, I train on this app called Aim Chess, mm -hmm. and it says I um I uh, have a very high resourcefulness. And basically that means I play better when I'm, uh, I play better from behind. Like if I'm losing a game, I tend to play better. I play better. I play way above my rating, it says. Okay, so knight E2 is wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. Your bishop and queen are blocked in. Mm -hmm. Now, just because it's wrong doesn't mean I know how to beat it. Like I don't know how to punish that move. Yeah, like no one does that is what you're saying. Like that's not like something that's used in any high level chess, right? That move. Well, I mean, it's just it just goes against basic principles, right? You don't want to mm -hmm. block in your pieces, right? And the knight mm -hmm. blocks in the bishop and it blocks in the queen. Usually you bring your knight to F3. Um, but you asked what what else am I into, right? Uh yeah, yeah. I read a lot. I read a lot. Thomas right? Soul, huh? I like Thomas Soul. I I I dig into some soul. Um, I um I really like to uh, dive into. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm a, I like to. Uh, currently, I'm studying neurology, obviously because I'm selling the brain pills. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm studying neurology on my I'm on my second neurology book. So I'm trying to figure out how the brain works. Um, I I have a question about that. Um, mm -hmm. something that, and again, I'm know nothing about neurology, uh, but something that's been interesting to me has been piqued my interest, this whole concept of, uh, the pineal gland and yeah. what is it used for, how it's being, uh, blocked off, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, but, calcified uh, what, pineal gland. Yeah. Yeah. Calcified. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting thing. So what we're talking about here is the endocrine gland system. And uh, I believe there's seven of them. And if you dive into the whole Buddhist stuff about chakras, the seven endocrine glands line up with the chakras. And you have your um, your energy fields in these areas. Like science has detected these uh, energy fields around the seven endocrine gland systems. So the pineal gland sits inside the brain. And, and, and people have uh, attributed the pineal gland with uh extrasensory perception etc cetera, etc cetera. uh but according to my studies the esp is actually a combination of a bunch of different things so i think it's 
uh, specifically the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, and the I think it's the hypothalamus. And those three in conjunction, uh, in tandem, working together, is what uh, is what uh, contributes to uh, ESP, extrasensory perception, allegedly. And, you know, I, I um, again, I haven't studied this stuff in years, and uh, I haven't studied it intensely either. But from my cursory reading, um, that's the vibe I got. Oh, yeah. You know, I look at the human brain the way, you know, we look at the ocean. You know, it seems mm. so simple, but there's so much we don't know about it. You know, there's so many things and, you know, just everybody's living a different reality on this plane. You know, we're like me and you were playing this chess game, but we're living two di separate realities. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But we are all connected. I do think we're all connected. I think we're all connected, too. I think there's definitely an interconnectedness. Uh, I think the 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 most obvious indicator of that is um, I'm gonna just go ahead and play my night in the center of the board. It just looks real. Uh, it just looks good. I don't know. Um, it does look good. It does look good. <laughs> yeah, I think it just makes sense to put that there. Um, but the thing that that really lends credence to that is. Uh, when somebody's staring at you from across the room and you sense mm. it, like you ever had somebody like you just, you don't think about it. You kind of just look your, you just, your just neck just turns. And then when the, 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 when you look, you see a person looking at you. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's an extra sensory perception. These are things that are being picked up in the energy fields around us, but you can actually do this. Like if you want to get somebody's attention, uh, what is it? You stare at their temple, I think. I forget which part of the brain you stare at, but why is that? Why? That's a good question. Like, these are the things that, so when I talk about this stuff, I, I think that um, science explains God and God explains science. Mm -hmm. So I think this stuff can be explained um, with science. You know, if if we dive into the studies enough and really, you know, try to dive into um you know, what the, uh, you know, what's happening in the brain, but there's so many things. So for example, um, the amygdala, right? Uh, at one point, uh, scientists thought that the amygdala was, uh, your, your, um, your fear sensor, right? This is, they thought that this is where, uh, fear is, um, expressed in the brain. And then they 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 did some experiments where they removed the amygdala, and uh, it was true. Like some um, in some experiments, people stopped um, having fear. Uh, and then as science advanced, they found out that even when they removed the amygdala, they can induce fear in somebody um, by uh, depriving them of oxygen. So basically, what happened was there's this lady um, in this experiment, and um, she she couldn't she couldn't experience fear. You know, one time she was attacked in a park guy, put a, a knife to her neck and she was like, I'm protected by God. And the guy was just so freaked out that she was so calm that he just left her alone. Right. And let mm -hmm. her go. But what later on, what they did was they found out that uh, her amygdala wasn't active. So over years of experimenting, they, um, they were able to induce fear. And what happened was she didn't induce fear. She had a panic attack and she had a panic attack after they, uh, basically they, they did a carbon dioxide experiment. And with this carbon dioxide experiment, you just can't breathe as well, right? You just started asphyxiating. Mm -hmm. So um, this was the experiment that they pulled out and she had a panic attack. So they're like, wait, okay. So fear isn't only expressed in the amygdala. So, you know, the point of the story is there's a lot of mysteries that are happening with the Bible. Also, you have to remember that. Um, here, take my queen. Uh, I'm going to play without my queen. Uh, actually, I should have did a Botez Gambit. Is this a trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. I'm just being nice. I want to play okay. without my queen to challenge myself. Keep, keep, go keep going on that, though, on that thought. Um. So, yeah, the thing is, we we aren't exactly sure what's going on in the brain, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's the, that's the thing. It's like also, okay. So what else is happening is when you lose perception, when you lose perception in something, um, or, or one part of the brain becomes inactive, sometimes that function gets transferred to another part of the brain. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm Wait, are you referring to like, you know, your, your, your fight or flight? What, what's all that called? Yeah. Those senses, like when, yeah. when that gets turned on that fight or flight instinct. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That type of situation starts happening. Mm, and that's yeah that's exactly what i'm talking about that was a fight or flight um that was a fight or flight experiment that's exactly what that was oh this is an interesting move hmm. my, my my fight or flight instincts are on right now Hotel. they are point. they are buzzing bro <laughs> my, my queen is in fight or flight <laughs> don't want to put her in a corner <laughs> <laughs> you know i almost had a move here but then i realized it was actually a bad move you should have um, did it. I know. I know. For but experiment I can't be, purposes. I can't, I can't be that generous. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Can I jump around here? Da, 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 da. All right. Let's just go here. I think that's the only move I have. I didn't want you to do that. I was going to try to sneak. I was going to try to sneak that, uh, that bishop out of there. I, I know. Out of there. I know you tried to, you tried to sneak me, man. Mm -hmm. You little devil. <laughs> so, uh, let, let me ask you this. I, I got a buddy of mine. He he asks his, uh, you know, me or, you know, other people he talks to this. I think it's a real good question. It says, like, especially if he hasn't seen you in a while, he says, <laughs> what is the biggest issue going on right now? Like, what is the thing I need to know about right now? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it can be politics, you know, anything, mm -hmm. crypto. What, what, what do you think is a big issue that's happening right now that nobody's talking about or is underreported? I, I think you hit on it. It's the CBDC, bro. Yikes. That's the that's the thing that nobody's talking about. But, like but Hotep, nobody. Hotep, if you, if you think, and I know you remember this, it wasn't too long ago if you said those words or explained what the CBDC was, oh, that, that, that's a conspiracy theory. What are you talking about? They're not right. coming out with a government sent. And now all of a sudden, all it's the a, governments at the same time, I mean, I'm sure it's a coincidence that they all <laughs> independently thought, hey, let's come out with a CBDC. I, I, I mean, that's got to be just a coincidence i mean yeah you know what's funny is um we put, you talk about racism right so the democrats mm -hmm. you, you know they pose as the party for the poor the party of the people the part you know they're like so you know for the people but oh, when yeah. you look at the cbdc it's only in black nations black and brown <laughs> nations Dude, dude, now that you say that, because, you know, when you talk about, you know, in Africa and like, say, like, you know, Charles Hoskins and Cardano, they're going like, we need a bank to unbanked. And they're bringing all the crypto and stuff to these black nations. And that does get me thinking. I'm like, dude, just leave these people alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, let them. I do think it's kind of a trap, you know? Yeah, it's. It's it's very weird. Um, hold on, let me see something here. I gotta think for a second because let's see. Uh, bank, bank, bank. Wait. Boom, boom, boom. Hotep is transforming into his fight or flight instinct. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. I, you you forced me to calculate at this point, um, because. I have to, I will, one, I have to win, right? I want to win. Uh, you have miraculously um, won my queen. Um, and now I have this is futile. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this hurts, man. This, this is, this hurts. Um, I, I don't know what to do. So hold on. Give me. Give me, give me 30 seconds Take to calculate your time. this. Take your time. Like a frog balling in water. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, it's funny. Whenever I bring up a CBDC, I think the biggest thing, you know, people just think, you know, a digital dollar. And I'm like, 
we already have a digital dollar. Your your money is oh I don't no no <laughs> wait no I'm really trying to like 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 predict what you're gonna do based on what I did, but you never do what I think you're gonna do, and I don't I don't like that. Well, that's good. That's that's a good thing. If I'm if if I'm not predictable, then that means I'm making the right move. Ah, because that's what you want to do in chess. Like the whole idea of chess is mm -hmm. to predict your opponent's move. If you can predict your opponent's move, you're probably doing very well. It, but I think that let, let me know what like if I like I don't want to be like a grandmaster or something, but I would like to get you know to where I'm a respected like good player. Mm -hmm. And I don't think getting my ass kicked by you is perhaps the best way to learn how to be a fundamental. Like what what would you say for somebody like me to do? Um, number one, uh, join my chess streams on Mondays and Wednesdays. We have classes. Okay. Um, get in on those. Um, what else? Uh, read chess books. <laughs> like, uh, I, you know, so you got to teach chess backwards. So in order to win in chess, you have to checkmate, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you have to learn is all the checkmating patterns. Mm -hmm. That's like step one. Is, is that is that memorization though when, when you say that like like knowing the openings and it's it's more like uh pattern recognition mm -hmm. which is i guess pattern recognition is somewhat memory um mm -hmm. oh that's a really good move sir that's you know not a big move. deal sometimes uh that's a young, really uh, i've been compared to young bobby fisher at times you know? <laughs> 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 wow i'm impressed with that move i'm really freaking impressed you know, sometimes i just black out and just you know start seeing the moves <laughs> um how do i punish you for that no well i want to don't do it i want to punish you for that move i don't but i don't think i can let's see bank 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 Bing. Where where are you from, Hotel? Jersey. Somebody, one of them, I was telling my friends I was going to work with you. Somebody's like, yeah, I think he's from Mississippi. I'm like, no, I don't no. think so. No, I'm from Jersey. <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> I'm a Jersey boy. Jersey. Yeah. I get people think I'm from there when they hear my accent. They say either Jersey or Boston when they hear my accent. And I'm what? I no, I get I get Boston. Where are you from? New Orleans, New Orleans. Yeah, which, I, I was. Gonna, I knew it sounded country. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't talk like the way because I'm. I'm from like a little town right right outside of New Orleans. So I'm. I don't have like a. It, it's just crazy to me because I've I've worked in New York and Jersey and stuff. So I actually hear how people there talk, and I'm like, it's nothing like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You like in Jersey though? No. <laughs> you know the thing is, it's a comfort thing, right? Uh, you 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 tend to be happy where you're comfortable, mm -hmm. but you know, I don't like the gun laws here. It's a very blue state, mm -hmm. you know, um, that type of situation. So no, it's, it's not the most pleasant place to live. I would, I would, uh, I would probably, I'm looking at Texas. I think I want to live in Texas. It's Texas really is late. incredible, man. Texas is incredible. Is yeah. Um, That's a good move. Ah. <laughs> That's a good move. Texas, I, I, I've, I was working in Florida in the Tampa area uh, last mm -hmm. month. Tampa, uh, Florida is incredible. I mean, you know, something like the town I live in, man, it, it, it's a amazing place to live. Small town, small government. Um, But uh, definitely starting to have some concerns bad air quality here you know what i'm saying florida texas you, you just better air quality low taxes uh like-minded people um chad my, my homeboy chad's in texas mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah that's that's the homie right there um i want to get tricky on you don't bro it's christmas eve We've got people watching can't be getting too tricky man i want to get tricky on you it's just <laughs> it's just that you have your bishops placed in a very good position mm -hmm. 
So if you look at your bishops, they control a lot of squares, right? So count the squares that your bishops have. They got a lot of a lot of play from they're doing bishops. work. They are doing work, man. Mm -hmm. They are putting in work. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's not much I can really do about that, right? Like, it, like that move right there, I think was the that was the computer move. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to sacrifice some more pieces just to make a comeback. Uh, and I don't see anything, bro. I don't see anything. I think I have to play this. I think I have to do that. That's that's funny. That's like the one time when I was like, All right, he's gonna do that, and I already know what you're gonna do when I do this. What what are you what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna. Well, what am this. I gonna do? I'm gonna do this, and, right. then, and then you are gonna move the uh the castle right here to uh what shape is it? B eight. I've shame on me. I don't even know the board. No, that's a blunder. Oh, that's a blunder. That's a blunder. Yeah. Because then you then you him. take then you take the uh yeah see he's trying to get me then you, <laughs> then you take the bishop on e8 and now it's just now it's scary right um so uh the um when when you when you do your live streams you're doing it through zoom and obs you said yeah okay yeah um let's go here fundamental just be very fundamental at this point um yeah i gotta start um putting my pieces on better squares um but yeah you know in order to be good at chess <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna play it every time i kill you <laughs> um you know anytime you you play you, you gotta remember with chess it's about the checkmate right if you don't know how to checkmate it doesn't matter. So start with checkmates and do uh -huh. your tactics. Do your tactics. Read chess books. Know your checkmates. Do your tactics. It's pretty much that simple. And then worry about openings later. And analyze your games. Like play a lot and analyze your games. Right? Like see. Like instead of trying to learn openings, just play games and then analyze your game and then see what the computer says was your mistake. And after a while, you start to realize what the right moves are. So the at the end of these games, when it says like the blunders and mistakes, those it's pretty accurate on what you you did wrong and. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's computer accurate. I mean, it depends on what engine you're using. I think this one uses Stockfish, but Stockfish got their ass whooped by um, Google's Alpha Zero. You know, Google, yeah, Google has the AI, and. Uh, Speaking Alpha Zero of AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could talk about AI too. I'm I'm a part um I'm a partner in an AI company. What 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 what's the company do? Uh camera vision analytics. Basically, wow. basically anything um anything in front of the camera we can analyze. Mm -hmm. So right now we're doing things like uh people counting uh path tracking it's big brother shit i ain't even gonna hold you um sounds like it it's definitely big brother stuff mm -hmm. um but it's we use it for retail we try to we tr you know the navy approached us uh about really? our software yeah because we have facial recognition we have gate recognition we have mood detection gender detection there's only two genders in our system now um <laughs> age detection um yeah riley's like a super genius he was a um he was a new um a ast astrophysicist in college and he dropped out to work on ai um are y'all gonna so what would it be like a licensing deal to, to the navy or something or yeah something like that yeah we we sell licenses to our software so the name of the company is wazo mm -hmm. uh w-a-z-o wazo ai um yeah so um I think I want to do this. Um, what got you into that? Uh, well, uh, one of their co-founders was uh, watching my stream and uh, he listened to a podcast of mine, uh, an interview I did. And uh, he basically said he didn't know I had such business savvy. Mm -hmm. And um, that was Peter McCormick. I did um, Peter McCormick. Whoa. He's incredible. McCormick's incredible. What is this move? I don't know. I just kind of. 
Um, yeah, McCormick's dope, you know. So McCormick interviewed me and uh he he heard that interview and he was like, Oh wow, like you know, you know you're talking about we need help with our company. So I joined the team to wow. uh help him out. And yeah, so we've been working on the AI project ever since. You know, that's interesting because, you know, with, with, you know, YouTube and, you know, a lot of people, oh, how much money you make on YouTube? Cause like my channel's monetized now. And I'm like, guys, it's not the money on YouTube. It's the connections and it's the network and, you know, stuff like that, which, you know, you probably, when you started all your stuff, you didn't think you'd be, you know, in business with an AI company. No, absolutely not. In fact, I didn't even, you know, I had a YouTube channel when I was a music artist, you know, you kind of need those for your music videos and stuff, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I, um, I'm just going to take here. I think that's the right move. Uh, you know, I, I was looking at this stuff like, um, uh, it, it was silly to me. I always thought like having a YouTube channel was silly. Mm -hmm. So I never was, uh, quite interested in it. So, um, I, uh, I was just tweeting. I was just a, a Twitter person. That's, that's what I thought was, uh, more productive, uh, for my time. Mm -hmm. And, um, so one day somebody was like, also I had an anonymous account on Twitter too. I was, oh, you weren't Hotep Jesus. It was nah. alias. No, nah, I was a non. My I had a number. My 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 um alias was a number, because I was at a point in my life where I didn't want to be judged based upon a stereotype, like what I looked like, right? Uh huh. I wanted to be judged off of my thoughts, and people thought my Twitter thoughts are very prolific. So then, what happened was they started to um, you know, question me, right? Like, I was talking on a lot of black issues. So like, are you even black? You know, it was getting. <laughs> He's getting those types of questions, right? Um, so let's go here. I don't think this is the right move, but this is what we're going to do anyway. Um, so, you know, I started getting those types of questions. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, um, they, so they challenged me. They're like, you should start a YouTube channel. And they were saying it like, you know, challenging me, you know, saying I wasn't a black guy. And uh, so I was like, you know what? I'll do I am that. a black guy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But you know what? It, I think, I think I'll what show it, them. <laughs> right. But what it was for me was I actually did have a few different topics that I wanted to get off my chest. One of them was college is a scam. Mm -hmm. I Wait, did you just kill my queen? Is my queen Dunzo? Oh, uh, maybe. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. All right, keep going. College is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to get her back the whole game. And um Yikes. It took me a while, but we found it. Um so yeah, so you know, I felt that you know college was a scam. Uh and I wanted to figure out how to express this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So um YouTube became my outlet. And then I hit a point where I no longer had anything to say. Wait, what you what you mean? Like as far as like content on the channel? I I was done. I was I had said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> it, I don't know, you know, like I uh I don't know. Oh. I don't know how to say it. Hotep's been told you. Yeah, but I was <laughs> done. Like everything I ever wanted to express Mm -hmm. had already been expressed. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, now I don't know what to do here. I have won the queen successfully. That was I have two, two pieces under attack. So classic oh. have blunder. Was Hotep Jesus a good sport? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can go here. I don't think you're going to find the right move. Probably not. So I'll go here and let's see if you find the right move. Um, 
but yeah, so I had finished, you know, I, I got How long to, ago was this when all of this happened? Like 20. So I'll tell you, so now I can date it like 2014 uh -huh. because I started talking about Black Lives Matter at that point. I had uh -oh. ran out of every, yeah, I had ran out of the things I wanted to say. Um, cause I just, you know, I just don't care about a lot of things. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, after that, I just went into, uh, you know, analyzing things, you know, analyzing life and society. So what I found out was, um, it was a scam. So then like, uh, that, that video kind of went viral, whatever, whatever, Mm -hmm. And then um, I was listening back to myself and I didn't like the way I spoke. I didn't think I was articulate enough. Oh, that, dude, it happens to me all the time. Like in, any video I do, I'm like, man, like I like in your head, it it comes out better, right? Yeah. I wanted to sound more intelligent. So I took a year off to work on my speech. And I would just uh, speak in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of that. Um, just any book, any books you read on, on, on how to be a better speaker or no, no, no content. No, no. Oh, fuck. Great. Blunder. Move. Oh, great move. Great move. Great move. Um, it's not a blunder. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. That's something I, I want to, you know, I'm always, you know, trying to improve, you know, whether it's the channel, uh, making money, you know, a a everything's just a constant improvement for me. Yeah. Yeah. I totally get that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this out, but it's going to be, this is going to oh, be, it's going to be messy. It's going to be, gonna, this, this is going to be very fucking messy. Um, I know the right move here. Take your time. There's one right move here. One, Wait, what? <laughs> what one, there can't be one right move. There's, There's gotta be one least... right move right now. What about one right move and one decent move? There's one right move. I don't know. There's probably a dozen decent moves, but there's how only many wrong one right moves? Move. How many wrong moves? Yeah. A bunch. Oh, dang. A All right, bunch. Kevin. What what was I gonna do? This guys, this is this is incredible. There's one wrong move. I mean, one uh one it's a it's a it's not even a good move, it's a brilliant move. It's like two exclamation marks. Or I maybe think, one. I think this is it because I would I this would have been the last this is the last thing I thought of. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's playing mind games with me. I need all right. How, how do I get this mind man? What's it called? How do I get it? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you to move. You ready? I'm gonna buy that stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna run this back on another on a live stream, and I'm gonna take it live, and I will defeat you. <laughs> I'm gonna train like I'm in Dragon Ball Z. Goku went in the hyperbolic chamber and stuff, and like it yeah. time like fast forwarded. I think yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you can still do it. You can still do it. It's only one right move. Wait, can you do it? Let me see. Take. Only one mm. right move. I don't understand. Actually, no, it's not. No, you can't do it anymore. Rip. Mm. Mm. So what? What's kind of next for you, man? You, you anything big going on or? Um. The grifties. The we grifties. got the grift. Yeah, we got the grifties coming up. Okay. Um, that's gonna be really dope. That's our award show. Uh -huh. Where we uh give awards out to the biggest grifters uh on the planet. Give give us some uh who who's some contestants, who's some nominees. Um, I can't do that. But yeah. actually I can. I can. Zelensky. Because they're these are obvious, Wait, the right? The Supreme Leader Zelensky. Yeah, the Supreme Leader Zelensky. She's one. Okay. Um who else? Who else? Uh Alex Stein. You don't you don't like Alex Stein? Okay, so I have to explain. I have to explain our definition of grifter. Uh huh. So the the grift is like Star Wars. You have the dark side and you have the light side. Okay, so you yeah. have dark grifters and you have Jedi grifters. Alex Stein's a Jedi grifter. He's a, he's a good guy. He's on our side. Yeah. 
I'm a grifter, right? You're a grifter. Grifter is almost synonymous with hustler, right? Okay. Entrepreneur, right? So for example, if a story gets published and it's headline news, you got to cover it, right? Right. That's grifting. We're grifting off of the trending topic, okay? Mm -hmm. So, because... Honestly, you don't have to cover world news. You don't. You don't. You could be sitting here talking about biology. You just know it won't get no clicks. So you do what's going to get clicks so you, you can feed your family, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. We got to hustle. We got to give people the content that's going to, um. let's go here. Uh, we got to give people the content that's going to uh, feed our family. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a fact of the matter, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, we are all subject to the grift. How can I bait you now? Yeah, like Alex, uh, I, you know, I've seen some of his stuff and, you know, you know, whatever. I get a laugh, but man, he did that bar stool thing. I'm just like, what is this guy doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, Alex is a good guy, man. He's a good yeah, guy. Yeah, he like, seems, he seems like I, I get I get what he's trying to do, you know what I'm saying? But um So you're definitely winning. Nice. And if you play this right, there's no way I can come back. I'm going to try. try um, and there's three minutes left. So I'm going to try and cheese you on the clock. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's grifting. I'm grifting. I'm going <laughs> to clock grift. <laughs> the ultimate grifter, Hotep Jesus. Uh, um, Yeah, man. I, uh... Mm-hmm. Let's go here. I, I try not to um get too political, especially, you know, with, with the partisan stuff on mm -hmm. um on my channel. But you know, sometimes I I, I like you, you have to talk about these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can yeah. you talk about a crypto market and not explain, you know, what is actually going on? Yeah, yeah. You 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 have to you have to cover you like like that's what I that's what I'm saying right like at some point you got to get a little bit of the grift in there because yeah. you have to feed people the information right mm -hmm. so yeah I, I totally get that I totally get that um and people need the information and 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 sometimes you know what they say they say like uh you gotta that was a bad move um you gotta put uh. You got to put it in the, uh, how, how did they say it? You know, put it in the fruit, you know, put the sour thing in the fruit. I forget how it goes, but you know, you gotta, you know, like when you give your kids medicine. Ah, you know, yeah. You got to hide the, the medicine in the, yeah, in the baby got, food or something in the applesauce and they right. won't know they're taking it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's our job is to, you know, hide the baby food, hide the, hide the uh, medicine in the baby food. Right. Uh -huh. That's 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 pretty much what we're what we're looking to accomplish here. Um and um sometimes we're successful, sometimes we're not, but that's what we want to do ultimately. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I um the ultimate grift. Hmm. Oh shit. That was the wrong move for you. I you blundered tell me and you now. missed it. You tell me now. <laughs> I blundered and you missed it. <laughs> you blundered? Yeah, and you missed Oh, it. I know. I was supposed to move the other uh I was supposed to move him there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, checked, yeah. you had to kill him. Yeah, and then I But that's too late and now it's a mistake. Yeah, that now now it's just panic at the disco, hold the disco, man. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Uh Yes. Wow. <laughs> I think I'm winning now. No, no, no. But I can't be too sure. 
Well, I knew you were going to do that, right? Like, but I don't think that's the right move, and I'm about to cheese you. Don't do that. I'm about to cheese you. I First know you're going to move here. the rock. Yep, check. I know it. I know it. I'm going to try and cheese you now. No, Let's no, no. Try. Let's try to cheese him. Oh, he yeah. fell for it. Check a seat. Though. That's a fork, baby. Oh, not good. <laughs> not this man is beating me without a queen. Check a seat. Though. Give me that. Oy, 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 oy. And then we're going here. Yeah, it's this is officially winning for me now. Well, everybody, I, I tried my best. You did. You played really well. You played really well, bro. I gotta, I gotta keep it real. I'm, I'm coming to the streams. I'm getting, I'm getting the official training. Come on in, man. Come on in, please. Um, and now we bring a king in. It's time to bring King Kong into the party. And then we go here. This is just simple end game now. Yeah. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah, it's nothing you can really do now. I'm gonna push the H pawn up the board. I, I believe, I believe, uh, I believe Hotep's Cubans friends would refer to this as no me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct, sir. <laughs> no me gusta. And then we get the rook behind the pawn. <clears throat> and then um Man, I gotta get good at chess, man. We gotta bring that's my that's my over. that's my New Year's resolution. Get good at chess. And then we bring um check first. Yeah, we gotta go check first, and then I bring the other pawn in. Let's go here. And then I'm going to try. Yeah, I think I can. Oh, why'd you do that? I don't know, man. Check. I think you had to keep that rook. It's over, guys. Check. I'm a failure. And then let's bring the king up. And then, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to pre-move all these. I don't I don't get anything for getting it. See, I should win for getting the king to the other side. <laughs> I still got to checkmate you, though. This is the hard part. The hardest thing to do in chess is to convert a win. Dude, you ain't lying. Because you know what, what could happen is I could um, I could blunder and give you a stalemate. Ooh. Like, for example, if I played queen g6, mm -hmm. that's a stalemate. You can't move, and I'm also not checking you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that would be that would be terrible. Even if you get that other pawn, like, all right, tell, explain to me the the logic behind that. So, like that other pawn, you're mm -hmm. always taking a queen in that scenario. No, no, no. Um, in some cases, um, you can under promote because there might be a checkmate with the knight. Yeah, so that's the only two I would ever do: either the knight or the queen. Right? No other piece. Um, no. You could yeah. all, yeah. Sometimes you have to under promote because if you promote to a queen, you'll cause a stalemate. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've, so no, I've had might... that happen. I've had that happen. I was thinking that, like, I got the queen. I was like, you know, I wonder if, yeah. And what so... is what is the move called? Um, where the pawn, um, damn, it's like when you get the pawn to the other side of the board and the pawn can move different. Hmm. Oh man, it's called uh like so if you take your pawn, like yeah, your pawn attacks diagonal, but like it can oh, attack oh, a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, did that's that if, the other day. I thought that was cool. Yeah, that that only happens with um whatchamacallit? Um I just pre moved checkmate. Um that only happens with um uh um, uh is um what you call it? Um, when when the opponent moves their pawn two spaces, mm -hmm. and that pawn lands next to your pawn, then you can take on a diagonal past the pawn and call ampassant. But the mm. the pawn it it has to be the opponent's pawn first move two spaces, 
yeah to skip to your pawn yeah yeah like to yeah. skip your pawn yeah i actually won a game like that my first tournament my first and only tournament i ever played i won a game um by forcing my opponent to play en passant. it was in the end game mm -hmm. he had his he had a pawn on h6 i was playing black i had a pawn on g7 i played en passant, and he had to take because if he didn't my pawn was going to queen going up the board and um if he did take i was still winning but that was the only move i had uh so yeah en passant gets it gets really um interesting Ho tap. Oh, we definitely gonna uh woo. great game, man. Great game. So uh oh man, that was amazing. Here's what we're gonna do, y'all. Ho tap destroyed me, but I'm gonna or what's it called? I'm gonna order some today. Okay. And then in a week or so, whenever you're free again, I'm gonna take it on stream and I and I'll I'll train until then and I will defeat you. <laughs> well, I got I got some good news for you. What's I got, happening? I got a coupon code for okay your your people okay? okay so check this out let me show you how to game my system mm -hmm. we have a new year sale right now on is half off uh subscriptions at trymasterfocus.com okay um excuse me mm -hmm. um half off sale so that puts the price at 43 bucks if you use the coupon code 10 off, it's going to drop O F F T E N one, or the numbers 10 O F F one zero off. one zero O F F. Yeah. So that's going to take 10 bucks off your order. Okay. That's going to make it like 33 bucks mm -hmm. for a subscription. Now, if you lock in at the subscription price, you're locked in forever until you cancel. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other thing is, the other thing is, um, the original price of the product is 89 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you get, you, you get in, I basically make no money, but we do have you as a customer for life or until you cancel. Um, so if you guys get in, um, use that coupon code and that, that would be like the lowest price you'll ever be able to get this product for you. you you're not going to find it, you know, at that price anyway. Dope, dope. Yeah, no, guys, and uh, guys, please, you know, be sure to give Hotep a follow, man. Awesome, he came on here and played, schooled me on some chess. We will get a rematch. Hotep, where can they find you? Twitter, Facebook? HotepJesus.com. HotepJesus.com. It's got all your socials on it? Everything's there. Well, Hotep, brother, appreciate you joining us, man. Anything else you want to leave us with? No, man, just uh, <laughs> watch out for the CBDC. Um, <laughs> You know, if you don't get the master focus, I, I wrote three books, one on marketing, one on masculinity. Uh, and uh, I published a report on central banking that's called the Patriot Report. You'll see all that on hotepjesus.com. So if you want to see uh, my findings and my publishings mm -hmm. on that, um, wonderful. Let's, you know, we'll, we'll dive into that. Well, Hotep, thank you so much for joining us, bro. You have a Merry Christmas. All right, man. Merry Christmas, bro.